Hello and welcome to India's coolest online talk show, Chai with me, Lakshmi. We are at www.chaiwithlakshmi.in. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. That's facebook.com forward slash Chai with Lakshmi and the Twitter handle is at Chai with Lakshmi. That's C-H-A-I-W-I-T-H-L-A-K-S-H-M-I. And now for today's urban conversation. This one brings you some experienced entrepreneurs who are now mentoring many a startup. Balaji Pasumarthi and Prabhakar Vallivati are co-founders and mentors at Mentor Square. They are seasoned entrepreneurs who have mentored hundreds of Indian startups together with other entrepreneurs from various sectors. Here's the duo sharing over chai about the big challenges that wannabe entrepreneurs face. As mentors to many a small and medium enterprise, what do you think an individual looking to start up in India today um, faces in terms of challenges? What, what are the biggest challenges? I think the first challenge is the choice itself. Because today there's so many opportunities uh, pro- for a professional. So, you know, there's an opportunity cost of starting, becoming an entrepreneur. On the other hand, if you really look at it, okay, India now compared to say 10, 15 years back, I mean, today is a much better time be, to be an entrepreneur than ever. The money required possibly has come down quite a bit. And also in terms of purely doing business, I think today it's a lot easier to uh, navigate, say, government permissions and things like that than it used to be. Even the venture capital uh, or funding kind of environment is much better than what it was 15 years back. There are, uh, you know, two caveats. One of them is that uh, it's very hard to imagine uh, an opportunity which is absolutely new because there's some variant of that which is already there. So you need to put in that much more effort to get that little edge. The second caveat is that I think we are in a business cycle now um, where the time taken for an idea to start spewing out cash is that much longer. Now what that means is that A, you need to have that much of a stronger passion, commitment, and um, a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, steal insights. You need to steal yourself for that long period, number one. And the uh, implication of that is you need to make sure that your business has the right amount of capital and you continue to have the right amount of energy and enthusiasm to recognize that and last that out. Other thing we notice is that a lot of times uh, when professionals become entrepreneurs, there are certain uh, you know, habit changes that need to happen, starting from how you, you know, spend money, also lifestyle. And one, more, one most important thing is about identity. A lot of professionals kind of get into a shock when they suddenly realize that they have lost their identity or their importance in society because there is no, uh, no brand behind them. And the conversation continues with Balaji and Prabhakar sharing insights on how to evaluate a business idea and why entrepreneurs could do with help from mentors. Catch this on webisode number 98.